the world of social media, but how to move from a profile to an actual date. Ken is standing by with five ways to slide into the DMs. Really, yep. Rudolph? Uh, yeah, it's real. Okay. What are you talking about, Court? It's a real thing, and I'm here to help you with that. So the DMs would be direct messaging. And every single social media platform has a way for you to direct message someone so that your conversation is not out there for the public to see. And so about 75% of millennials all have some social media platform, and this is how they communicate um, so that everyone doesn't know their personal business. But there are rules to this. And sliding into the DMs is about asking for dates and, and about talking to other people. Uh -huh. so there are rules for this, people. All right? Here we go. They call it sliding into the DMs, what the kids call it. That's what the kids call yeah, it. Yeah, they call it. Number one thing. Number one rule for sliding into the DMs. Do not comment on looks. Creepy. Because that puts you in the creepy category yep. right off the top. Boom. Mm -hmm. If your DM's like, hey, beautiful, delete. Delete. So what they want you to do is this. Because, man, come on, man. Let's think about this for a second. Every single female on the planet, including this one right here, knows that she's beautiful. She's been told that about eight billion times. You're not being unique. What they want you to do is read their profile, read their post, find something in there that's detailed, pay attention to that person beyond the exterior. That's how you help get in on the DMs. But don't comment on the looks. Uh, they want you to pay attention to them, and that leads us to the next thing. Find something in common. But once again, don't be a creep with what you find in common. So in this picture, it's an attractive female. But you need to focus in on the dog. Focus on the dog. And even better, if you say, oh, you have a dog that's whatever, whatever breed. I have a dog that's da 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 It's got a mix. Or maybe you notice something in the back of the picture. Hey, you're at that same dog park that I went to a little while back. Something that helps you kind of break the ice, but not in a creepy way. So you can start having a conversation about things you may have in common. Number three, keep it real, player. And keep it real means don't manufacture or don't trot out those manufactured lines, <laughs> right? Because everybody knows what they sound like. And once again, you just put yourself right back into the creepy category again. So just try to come with a very authentic, nice approach. And don't go with the lines that you think are going to work to entice this individual to come on over to your side of the field, so to speak. And only Hef could pull that off. Only what? Only Hef could pull that off. Right, Eck, tell me about it. Yeah. Hey, number four. This is really important. If you want to, dun -dun, dun -dun, you get the green light. Hey, you got to wait <laughs> for the green light. And so waiting for the green light means paying attention to the signs, right? So maybe you kind of, you slid into the DMs and you've been asking questions, but all you're getting back are one word answers. Or maybe you're not really getting much of a response at all. That means you're not getting the green light. True. That means you need to back off. Nope. As opposed to every single time that person posts, here you come. Oh, hey, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> you did not get the green light. So you need to go over there and wait in purgatory until somebody tells you to move forward. In the meantime, <laughs> silencio clase por favor. And the last thing you want to think about, trust your gut, okay? If you just haven't been feeling the positive vibe from this individual, you got to move on because it's probably not going to work out. But if it is a positive vibe you're getting from your gut, then go ahead and offer up a date. They say you should always try to get things happening in real life within days once you make that contact via the direct message. Once you get that, now you gotta slide that over to IRL, in real life, and then make it happen from there. But before you do that, man, trust your gut. You know when things are working out. You know when you're not getting the heat. You know when you're not getting the vibe. You know when you're not getting the green light. Trust your gut, and don't get in trouble. That's five tips for sliding into the DMs like a professional and not a creep. To find out more about GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date. Man up for knowing how to get in where you fit in. Good day continues right after this.